let us have a quick understanding on Spark Interpreter. Before getting into it, let us have a quick understanding on Spark. Spark is an Apache project which facilitates in-memory computing in a distributed environment. It supports various languages like Java, Scala, Python, and R, and it has a number of components where it can do domain-specific analysis like Spark SQL, which is designed to do the structured data analysis, and Graphics to do the graph processing, and MLLib for machine learning. And the setup of the Spark can be done on top of YARN, that is the Hadoop's resource manager, or on top of Mesos, and Spark provides its own cluster manager as well. And that would be taken care by the administrator to set up where the Spark needs to be done. Already I have the Spark set up done and uh, the details will be provided by the administrators on where the Spark is running, who is the master and uh, what are all the resources that can be used within the Spark. To use the Spark, I need to know where the Spark is installed and where do I have the Hadoop configuration files and where the Hadoop is installed. By default, this path will also be provided by the administrators when they are setting up the Hadoop client in the machine where the interpreter is running or the Zeppelin server is running. So that means for the Zeppelin server to interact with, it needs to know where the Spark is installed and how to communicate with the Hadoop, that is HDFS, and the client setup that would be done by the administrators. I already have this configured. So within the machine where I have installed the Zeppelin, I have these configurations in terms of the Zeppelin environmental variable. I have set up the Spark home. This is where the Spark is installed in the same machine. Hadoop is installed in this specific location and the configurations to connect to the Hadoop is available in this specific location. Whenever an administrator says the client setup they are going to do, they are going to have these libraries and the configurations will be shared in those machines and it will be provided as a path. So I'm going to add this as an environmental variable as a part of the Zeppelin so that Zeppelin can understand these path. And I'm going to set up the interpreter. Within the Zeppelin interpreter, I need to set up the master, whether the resource management is being done as a part of YARN or Mesos or Spark's own cluster manager. Again, this will be provided by the administrator. I'm going to do the setup let me get into the interpreter of Spark. Zeppelin comes with the Spark interpreter where I can use these prefix. If I'm going to use PySpark, that is Python language, I can use PySpark as the prefix. If I wanted to use the Spark SQL, I can use the SQL as the prefix for the Spark interpreter. Within the Spark interpreter, I am setting the master as the yarn client because it's going to submit it as a yarn job. And uh, executor memory, it should use 512 MB. So based on the availability of the resource in this specific machine, I have configured it to be 512. With this configuration, I can create a new notebook. I'll create a new notebook. I'll keep the Spark as the default interpreter. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to use the Spark SQL and connect to the same Hive database that we created as a part of Hive. The percentage SQL. This would initiate a Spark job and it's going to list the database available as a part of Hive. So how it will know where the Hive is running? Due to the configuration file that we have provided to the Zeppelin, it can understand where Hive is running. So I do have the MovieLens database that I had created. I'm going to cache all these tables. I'm going to use MovieLens. I'm going to cache the ratings table. What it would do, it would load the ratings data into the memory so that the execution will be much faster. Then I'll cache the movies data, users data, and occupations data. Now let us run the same query that we did as a part of Hive within the Spark SQL. I'm going to select the occupation and the number of users who have provided the ratings as 5. The execution will be much faster and any analysis, any settings that I wanted to do, I can do it over here. I can do various type of visualization. Now I'm going to do the rating analysis by including the gender. I'm going to pick the gender, occupation and number of users who have provided the ratings. I do have the ratings, I do have the gender, I have the occupation and how many count that particular rating have been provided. I'm going to use a bar graph. I'm going to use the occupation as the key and the count as the value and I'm going to do the grouping based on the gender and the ratings.
I'm going to stack it. So for each of the occupation, how many number of rating 5, how many number of rating 4, how many number of rating 2, I can add the gender as well. So these are all the various options we can play around with the data. Let me do another query where I'm going to get the user age and the ratings who have provided as 5. Now I can do the same analysis as the age. So these are all the different age and how much ratings they had provided. If I want to visualize it as a pie graph, I can do. How, who is having the major share? The user with age 25 is having the major share. We can check the effect of age and the ratings. So I'm going to use another query. I'm going to check the ratings, age and the count. So what's the age? And the rating count. Now I'm going to do the group based on the rating. Let me visualize it as a bar graph. Let me do it as a stacked option. So I can do the analysis in case if I want to go with the area chart, I can very well do it with the area chart. Let's see what's the effect of occupation on the rating. So this demonstrates whenever I have the data in the structured form, and if I have the Spark platform, I can use the Spark interpreter to connect with the Spark. That's going to give us much, much better performance than the Hive because it has the ability to cache the data in memory. So I have done the ratings based on the occupation as well as I have splitted the data based on the gender. I have staked the data. So what are the ratings provided by the female customer and the male customer? So this is a quick demonstration on how to use the Spark interpreter and uh, Zeppelin integration with the Spark is very, very easy. It has the Spark interpreter built in. So all we need to do is mention where the Spark is installed by using the configuration and who is the manager or the master host for the Spark. So that will be provided as a parameter within the interpreter with the parameter name master. And all these details can be obtained from the administrators of Spark environment.